Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the new TrickTrack valve shim calculator for KTM and Husqvarna. Talk about how to use it and some special notes and ideas you need to keep track of. Before going any further, I posted the link to the online calculator in the more info section below and here on the screen. First, what is the calculator? When you adjust your valves on a KTM or Husky, there's valve shims that might need to be changed after you measure the clearances. These shims are sold in fixed thicknesses and you need to determine based on your clearances if they're too thin or too thick which next shim you should ideally use. This calculator automates almost all of that and one of the very important things about this calculator is it tells you the available shims that you can buy you don't have to figure out which ones are available and it recommends those shims on the screen calculator also takes into account your machine's specific shim diameter each machine takes one of two different shim uh, diameters either the 8.9 millimeter or the 10 millimeter shim after you enter your current clearance or gap as we call it and your current shim the calculator will tell you the next thin and the next thick shim recommendation the thin shim recommendation will give you a bigger clearance or gap and the thick shim will give you a smaller clearance or gap both shims will be within the guidelines of what's acceptable for your valve either exhaust or intake i recommend that you always use the, sh the thin shim because it'll give you slightly more clearance and is generally safer. Of course, you may do as you please with your machine. Let's get some housekeeping out of the way. In the more info section below, I've listed a uh, link to the calculator, link to some written online help, which somewhat mirrors what we're talking about here, and a link to the machines and the diameters, which we'll talk about as soon as we start showing the calculator. So now. I'll walk through a very quick start guide and show you some of the options. Here's the calculator uh, as it appears on your screen. It appears similarly if you're on a tablet or a phone, although the screen will be a little more narrower and some of the uh, shim measurements and, and the recommendations will be not in this configuration. Let's talk about this configuration area or the measurement and results area first. You'll see that we have a left exhaust here, right exhaust, left intake, and right intake. These represent how you'll see the valves if you're standing over the motorcycle on the left hand side of the motorcycle and uh, we recommend you kind of stick with this pattern so, so that you don't get confused on what you've measured and where your shims came out of the machine and which shims you need to put into the machine. But first let's talk about uh, the screen layout here. If you click this button uh, here it will take you to the online help. Uh, the first thing you need to configure is the shim diameter and that is available uh, in the help section you can see what shim diameter your machine has you pull this down and you select either 10 or 8.9 and that's very important because that populates this these shim pull downs and it affects the calculations the next thing you can do although we don't recommend it is you can set the target gap for the exhaust and the intake valves. This is a slider and you'll see it defaults to the recommended gap of 16 millimeters here for the 8.9 uh, shim but you can slide this around. The mark there is the recommended minimum and the mark here is the recommended maximum. I have the default 0.16 millimeters for the 8.9 shims and the same thing applies to the intake. You can move this around. We recommend you leave it set as it's configured here. Now there's really four things you first do when you want to measure your shims or you calculate your shims. Go measure the four gaps for the four valves, the exhaust, the intake, and the left and the right. Let's walk through how to use the calculator in the real world. The first thing we'll do is we'll measure each of our four gaps for the exhaust uh, left and right and the intake left and right. Then we'll enter the gaps and again we only need to do this if the gaps are outside of the ranges that we care about. In the exhaust case that's 0.12 and 0.17 for this 8.90 millimeter and the 0.10 and 0.15 gaps for the uh, intake. So we measure uh, let's say that one of our gaps is out of range. Let's say uh, this left exhaust is 0.25 millimeters. And in order to calculate the shims, the first thing we need to do is, after we get the gap, is we have to measure the shim itself, which means taking apart the uh, motorcycle, taking off the rocker arm, or taking out the crank, uh, the camshaft, whatever. Let's say we ended up just by uh, coincidence with a, a 20 
shim. Uh, the calculator will then calculate the correct thin and thick shims. Uh, the thin shim will give us the bigger gap, in this case a 0.17 millimeters, which is within spec of up here. And the thicker shim will give us a 0.13 millimeter gap. That would be the 2.2 shim. And you'll note that because we entered the 8.9 millimeter diameter here, the pop-up is populated with only the shims that exist for our machine. And the same thing applies to the shims that will be recommended. These will be shims available either from your OEM or from somebody like uh, Hot Cams or that. So either the 2.08 or the 2.12 is the right shim and we can choose the thin or the thick gap. We always recommend the thin gap. This is a little safer. We would repeat this process for all four valves. Again, only if the measured gaps are out of the range for the intake or the exhaust valves. One other very important thing to keep in mind is that if you have a zero gap when you measure, possible that the valve is being open are held open by meaning the shim is too thick or possibly you're off of top dead center. Either way, if you do happen to get a zero value here and you measure your shim, it's gonna tell you which new shim you need, but very important is if that valve was being held open um, because the shim was too thick and you put in this new recommended shim, in this case the 2.0 shim, 2.00 uh, millimeter shim, you wanna remeasure to make sure you actually did get this gap because if the, sh if the valve was being held open, let's say uh, 0.02 millimeters, you're not gonna get this 0.16 gap. You'd get, in theory, a 0.14 gap. So it's very important to always remeasure after you install a new shim. Another few things to note is that besides being able to click here for the online written help, each of the fields of the calculator has a pop-up information box that you can mouse over and it'll give you a little bit of information about what that field does and you'll see these popping up here for each one also this got magic field is used for testing and debugging calculator it's really not useful for anything uh, you'll be doing and one small note is that this configuration dialog area is collapsible if you click on this arrow you can see it click, goes up and down. It's optional if you're, say, on the phone or a tablet. You might need that extra space. It's not that helpful on the large PC, although it is useful to have it open because it does give you the allowed ranges of clearances for your exhaust and your intake valve. Anyway, check the more info section. Happy testing and happy riding.